Today's workout is a 10 minute postpartum resistance band abs workout. We're combining ab movements with the added bonus of a resistance band to really challenge your core. You'll need a mat and a light to moderate resistance band. Let's get started. Hey mamas, welcome to today's workout. We've got a 10 minute resistance band abs workout. This is great if you're postpartum or just wanting something to change up your core routine. This workout is gonna be a little bit more advanced because we're using a resistance band, but if you wanna make it beginner friendly, just don't use the band for your first time. So I'm using a light resistance band. We're gonna lie on our backs and place the band kind of on the calves or a little bit below. Lay back, straighten your legs, Draw and gently brace your core. We're gonna lift one leg off the floor until you feel tension in the band. Lift, press it down and alternate sides. So we're just gonna alternate lifting one leg at a time. Exhale as you lift to engage that pelvic floor and deep core. You can flex or point the feet, whatever is comfortable, but you're just lifting as high as you can, keeping that opposite foot pressing into the ground and just activating the deep core and pelvic floor. It's not how high you can lift the leg here, it's just how high you can lift while keeping tension on the band and while trying not to shift your weight and compensate by moving that other side. So just firing up the core here and we're gonna continue to build on this movement with our exercises coming up. So now we are gonna take the band, just bend the knees and scoot it up so it's on the thighs. Now knees come over the hips. And I want you to keep them directly over the hips as we open and close the legs. So press out against the band, spring it back in. So exhale as you open. So this is our abduction. We're opening the hips and then bringing them back together about hip distance apart. So there's always tension on the band here. You're never coming all the way in and releasing that pressure. And again, you're keeping the knees over the hips and that's gonna keep that constant pressure in the core. So make sure your lower back is pressing toward the mat here you're not having an excessive arch or excessive movement there. You want that nice, gentle core brace from the inside out. Again, it's not how far out you open the legs, it's just until you feel tension on the band. And if you've got a heavy band, you might not go as much. If you've got a lighter band, you may open a little bit wider. Again, you just wanna feel that little bit of tension. And this is great for hip mobility and the outer glutes as well. And now we're gonna take the legs up. So now we are gonna take the band and place it Again, about calf or a little bit lower, feet about hip distance apart, we open and close. So again, it's gonna be restricted by the tension on your band, so you might not open very much, just do what you can. And again, you it might be a really small movement from open to close because you don't wanna release tension here and come all the way in, the band's gonna fall. So keep that tension on, exhale, engage that core pelvic floor. If your legs are a little bit bent, no big deal, but you want them somewhat straight here, but a little softness in the knees is perfectly fine. Again, lower back pressing toward the floor. And if you do wanna make this one a little bit more challenging, you can take the legs out further away from your body and do this movement. And that's gonna put a little more pressure on the lower abs, but only if you're ready for it. All right, we're gonna take the band and now carefully bring it up back onto the thighs and roll over into a quadruped position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Take a deep breath in, as we exhale, we lift the front knee for a hydrant. So knee comes up and then straight back down. Let's do that same leg again. Exhale on the lift to connect to that deep core and pelvic floor. Pressing through both hands evenly, keeping everything square to the floor. And again, it's not the height of the leg, it's the control and keeping that centered over the mat. So the more we rotate and open the hip, the more we're gonna take that work out of the core. So keeping everything really square and controlled. Again, if you're a beginner, you might consider losing the band for the first few rounds of this one, just to get the hang of the movements. And then you add the band to add intensity when those movements become not as challenging. You can shift back for a minute. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So making sure you reset with the shoulders right over the wrist, deep breath in, exhale, lift the knee. Anytime we abduct, take the leg away from the body, the core is gonna fire and it's also gonna help us engage the glutes, which is a really important component of the core. A lot of people don't think they're related, but it's the biggest muscle in the core 
and we really have to progressively overload the glutes. So we can do that by adding things like bands and weights. And a band is a great alternative to having a weight because you have that continuous resistance. It's lightweight. There's a lot of different options you can use and you can take it with you everywhere. I love to travel with these. And we really need to challenge those glutes in order to get our core strong and improve our core function. All right, shift back, take a quick rest, and we're gonna transition to our side plank position. So elbow under shoulder, bend the knees, so knees are forward, heels are back, heels are together. We're gonna lift up and open and close the knees for a clam. So we open and close. You have a couple options. You can stay up or you can stay down here, but either way, you're lifting your hips. So even when you're on the floor, you're not here. Chest is up, hip is lifted. You're engaged through the core and the obliques. If you're up, you're just adding a little more intensity to that side body. So if you're here, making sure you're pressing through that forearm, keeping things to the front. Don't open too much upward. Think more open to the front. Keeping those heels together, knees forward. Exhaling on that open and close. Again, that abduction's coming into play, working those glutes. So good for the deep core and pelvic floor, working in conjunction and rest. Same thing, other side. Set up that forearm plank position with the knees forward, heels back, with those heels, hips, and elbow in line. So these are really simple movements. So you can really feel free to play with the tension, whether that's adding or taking away the band, adding a heavier band. I'm going lighter today, but you do this one a few times. Maybe you can advance to a moderate to heavy resistance band. So these are really good foundational movements, just made more challenging by adding that band. So you can always scale it back depending on what season you're in, how far up postpartum you are. These are postpartum safe, but if you're newly postpartum, again, you might wanna scale back and take off the band for the first round or so of doing these exercises. All right, moving on now to a glute bridge with abduction. So we're gonna stay with that glute and abduction theme, feet close to butt, about hip distance apart. We're gonna open, lift, and then open and close the knees. Now you got a couple options. You can stay up like this, keeping the hips high, pressing open and close, or you can tap down between each rep to get a little more recovery. I'm gonna stay up. So you wanna try to keep the hips level as you open and close the knees. Heels stay down, toes can lift as you abduct to let those knees open a bit. Again, we exhale on that abduction. Again, small movement, keeping tension on that band as you bring the knees in. So you're not knocking knees, you're keeping the knees about hip distance apart, maybe a little bit wider depending on that band. Couple more here. Good work, okay, now we're gonna move on to a side plank leg raise. So back to that side forearm plank position. This time, the bottom leg stays bent, the top leg extends, we lift, and we lift the leg up and down. So just this top leg's moving. Again, abduction, using those side glutes to lift. Taking the leg out straight adds a longer lever as well, so it's really gonna challenge the whole core unit here. Again, pressing through that forearm, keeping the shoulder away from the ear, staying really lifted through that waistline. That's gonna help us stay, again, off the ground with good control, and then adding that leg lift so we're getting all the muscles in the core right here. You can, of course, take a few reps, keep the hip down, and come here. That's a great alternative. Or again, losing the band would be my first suggestion to scale it back. Good work. Okay, moving on to our last exercise. Same thing, other side. So set up with the forearm 90 degrees, bottom leg bent, top leg straight, wrap the core and lift. Second side's always harder because we've already fatigued both sides. And so this one, we're really fighting against that fatigue, but 
That's good. We want to reach that point of fatigue, but still stay with the exercise and maintain good technique. And those components, that's when you start to really get results. When you push through fatigue with good technique, and then that's where we see those changes happen. Progressive overload is what it's all about, but doing it gently, consistently, respecting where your body's at. Last one. Well done, you guys. So that was it, our 10 minute ab workout with a resistance band. Postpartum or not, this one's gonna be great for just firing up your core and adding some variety some intensity, some challenge to your ab routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I will see you back here for our next workout together.